Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, folks, I've got a pedal to show you that's come all the way over from Hawaii. I think it's my first Hawaiian-made bit of guitar gear on the channel, which I'm far from upset about. I would love to go to Hawaii. This here is the Fuzz from Hageman. Now, Jim Hageman is primarily an amplifier designer, and in recent years he's become pretty well known for his line of tube-based guitar effects pedals. But last year he released a series of about 10 pedals called the Black Series, for obvious reasons. And what these are are solid-state pedals, which are mostly based on classic circuits, but they're all adaptions, none of them are direct clones, so they all kind of change the sound and the feel of the circuit in some way. But they're a much more attractive price point than pretty much any other boutique pedal out on the market. So all of the Black Series pedals are $129, which is about €100 Euro and £90 pounds in UK money, so they're much more affordable than most other boutique effects pedals. Now, this at its heart is based on a silicon fuzz face. But as the eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed, it doesn't have a gain control, which in most other fuzz and overdrive pedals would be a problem. But being based on a fuzz face, it cleans up incredibly well with your guitar's volume control. So it's kind of set and forget in terms of gain, but just by riding the volume you can really make it clean up and do the spanky Hendrix clean tone thing, then slam the volume open and it becomes really saturated. But in place of the gain knob it has a tone control, which as you would expect, is a kind of EQ, but it also seems to sort of change the character of the fuzz as well. So as you turn it down, it becomes really thick in the low end, a little bit like a big muff. Straight up, it sounds pretty much like a fuzz face. And as you turn it up, it becomes really spitty and aggressive, a little bit like a sort of Mark I tone bender or a Maestro FZ1. So you, you can really change the character of the fuzz as well as the EQ. Now, being a silicon fuzz face, silicon transistors typically have a slightly more sort of spitty and aggressive sound than their germanium counterparts. But of course, by backing the tone down ever so slightly, you can get rid of some of that aggression and make it really kind of dark and smoky and approximate a germanium fuzz face pedal as well. So there's so much you can do with this deceivingly simple little black box. But there is one trick it has up its sleeve that I wanted to show you before we get going with the main demo today. So I've just put the Hageman fuzz down on my pedal board and also on the pedal board I've got an Analog Man NKT Red Dot Sunface which is a very traditional true to the original circuit fuzz albeit a germanium one and I've set the two pedals up to sound pretty close to each other. Now most classic fuzz circuits want to see a direct connection from the output of your guitar to their input because they rely on an impedance mismatch of a high impedance guitar signal to a low impedance input to filter the sound, make it sound like a classic fuzz and make the cleanup work off the volume control. Which is why classic fuzzes are so finicky with having any sort of buffered pedal in line before it or having any other pedal that's turned on because those pedals will drop the impedance, resolve that mismatch and the gain will shoot up, they'll sound really harsh, and the cleanup won't work very well. It's why it's such a nightmare putting a wah or a univibe, for example, into a fuzz face because of that impedance mismatch. Now, what Jim has done is he's kind of fixed that, and his pedal will take any impedance of guitar signal and just sound lovely. The cleanup will still work and it won't really change the tone in any way. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of quickly AB between the sun face and the Hageman fuzz, roll the volume back so it cleans up and then turn a buffer on so you can hear exactly what happens to the sun face and what doesn't happen to the Hageman fuzz.
So when I turned the buffer on there, the gain of the sun face shot up, it became really kind of shrill sounding in a way that the Hagerman didn't. Yes, it sounded a tiny bit brighter, that's what introducing a buffer to the circuit does, but it doesn't cause it to misbehave. So you can put the Hagerman fuzz anywhere on your pedal board, you can put a wah before it or after it or a univibe or whatever, and it will just thank you for it. It doesn't have to be first in line. So if I now turn the Hagerman fuzz on and put a phaser on before it, for example, it won't become really shrill, it'll just sound like a phaser into a lovely fuzz. <laughs> So it's not shrill, it's not nasty, you can hear the phaser, but the fuzz doesn't misbehave. So that is worth its weight in gold. You can put the Hagerman fuzz anywhere on your pedal board and it won't have a strop with you. So let's get into the full demo then and show you how good this pedal can sound. So without further ado, folks, here we go.
we are, folks. Now, please do comment underneath. Let me know what you thought of the Hagerman fuzz today. I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks in the comment sections. But you can get some really epic tones out of this deceivingly simple little black box, can't you? That tone control interacting with your guitar's volume to control the fixed gain of this pedal, you can get some really lovely textures out of it. And one of my favourite things about it is how touch sensitive it is. So you can roll your guitar's volume back, but then hit the guitar hard to make it slightly gain up, back your picking dynamics off and it becomes sparkly clean. It really does sort of respond like a tube amp would in a way. It kind of, you can really control the gain using your picking dynamics alone when the volumes roll down slightly. So that's one of my favorite things about it. But please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section, folks. I love getting your opinions on all these demos I do. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope this video is interesting and useful for you. Please do subscribe if you haven't done so. I know I always say it, but it does make a big difference when you do that. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.